Yeah. Yeah! Yeah.
May the Lord watch over you. What will happen to my For the love of God, what have you been doing? What's happening here? Oh my God. Philip and... They're all... Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I have no idea. 
Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. <laughs> Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Brother Nicodemus? Who's he? He takes care of the injured. He knows something about herbs and a little about setting broken bones. And is he good at it? He tries, but he doesn't have much experience. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? <laughs> enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. <sighs> Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. No, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. You wouldn't happen to know what Fritz and Matthew did here, would you? Don't even talk to me about that. They weren't badly injured compared to most of the others here. And after lying in bed for a while, they got bored. So they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking with that cretin Elias. They always have been thoughtless, but at least they were punished for it. Who is this Elias, anyway? One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. You know what they say about birds of a feather. What kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? 
They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they had was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then... A lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. Thank you. That's all I need. Take care. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt, how are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Isn't that a little unchristian? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just idle threats, really. If they come and apologize, there's always a possibility of forgiveness. God be with you. Hmm. He's not reacting. And all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask your hunker. For the love of God! What have you been doing? What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. I have to go and take care of the others. God bless. I'm not needed here. These wounds have been well taken care of. I'm not needed here. He just needs to sleep. Please, help me. Huh? Why are you wigging me? You look all right? Quiet. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief Please, while I was me. running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I'll get some. Good luck to you. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Please. Yeah? Damn, why are you waking me? You're not from Scalitz? No, but please help me. 
I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks' rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I, I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. He just needs to sleep. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, and for God's sake, do it quickly. May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> These wounds have been well taken care of. Philip, from Scalitz. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of. But others... Others are dying here... Needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this... I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However... You don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. I just won't get what do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? 
Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long, and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him, but it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalitz locals in such a state. I know. I'm ashamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. Do you know anything about herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Quiet! I'd like to learn something from you. Hmm. And what can you do? A bit of everything. Can you now? But to be more precise, do you understand herbs and medicinal plants? To be honest, not really. So what am I supposed to do with you? Well, never mind. At least you'll learn something new. Go to the herb garden, take a good look at what's growing there, and then pull up the weeds in the herbaceous beds. Is that clear? Poking around in the dirt isn't the job for me. If you prefer to carve people up with a sword, you'll have to go elsewhere.
Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right. So? Since it's you, I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Finally, a reasonable sum. Why are you wigging me? I have the bandages. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? Nicodemus will surely do it. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. I need help with rebandaging. Hands? I know, but there aren't any bandages. I have bandages, but I don't know how to put them on. Then I'll be happy to help. May the Lord watch over you. These wounds have been well taken care of. Hmm? Everything here is fine. Have you been doing? Goodbye. Henry, how are you? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scallets, you see. He hid for days, among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned... But what can we do? Us? Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scallets years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbours are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction worker's bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? Good luck, then.
I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Satisfied? It'll take more than that to persuade me. This is a waste of...
Come. Can't sleep again. I just won't get any sleep.
quiet. I feel quite hungry. Quiet! I've got something for you. Really? Drink this and you'll fall straight to sleep. Oh, thank you. May the Lord watch over you.
Thank you. <coughs> I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. Since it's you, Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Yeah, shit, what's going on? Hopefully I have what you need. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. May the Lord. Dear Mistress Johanka, I come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. You certainly have earned so What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? Taking care of the wounded, as I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them, and let me talk to Johanka. You're not needed here. Wouldn't it be better to have the banquet here, Custodian? What? You admire Johanka's self-sacrifice. I'm sure she appreciates the same quality in others. Ah, yes. Quite. I was just thinking the same. I'll have some food brought here. That custodian Sebastian is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way, I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. And anyway, mind your own business. Good luck, then. For the love of God, what have you been doing? Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. Goodbye.
update you. What do you need? Whose house is this? It's our local custodians. The most esteemed Sir Sebastian. Baron von Berg. You don't seem to think very much of him. Well, of course I do. A man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel. Can't be all bad. What does the custodian do, anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? Well, in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Don't mention it. You look bored. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sasa? It's such a holy place filled with knowledge. Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me! Like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Maybe I could help you. How? Oh. You're not planning some mischief, are you? No, not at all. I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Oh, no. Hmm. You'd do that for me? Of course. Then I'd be very grateful to you. May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to our... Ah, and how is your hunter? Do you know her well? Yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Your hunker means a lot to me. I'm mainly here for supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scalitz. They need blankets, food... Well, that's not my problem. Let the infirmarius take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Maybe because of your hanker. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? She has a kind heart. Everyone can see how deeply she cares about the wounded. If you help her selflessly, it will win her over. She's bound to be impressed. Maybe you're right. It will cost me something, but I'll discuss it with Nicodemus. I should be able to help in some way. Goodbye. Yeah.
Good day to you. Can I sleep here? All right. For how long? Just the one night. All right. Money up front, though. There you are. You'll like it here. It's like sleeping on a cloud, it is. Don't be weak. Could do with a bite to eat.
Yeah. 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 Stop him, someone. enough yeah yeah you got me come now we don't have to get all worked up on account of a scrap of cloth do we no excuses hand it over here you got the thrashing you deserved I hope you've learned your lesson I'll amend my life 
from the very foundations, believe me. You really let him go? Just like that? And did you get the loot back? I did. I have it here. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ya. What's going on here? We caught a Cuban. We locked him up in the barn. How did you manage to catch him? It's not like I underestimated him, but I can only assume he was armed. Oh, he was. But he had a bit of bad luck. I went for water in the morning. And all of a sudden, I saw a man on a horse riding through the ford. Halfway down the ford, the horse got wild and threw him into the water. I waded in and pulled him up on the shore. And then I realized he was a Cuban. Luckily for me, he hit his head. It was out cold. So I dragged him into the bar. And what plans do you have for him? What do I know? The miller told me to guard him. You'll have to ask him what he's got in mind. All right, I'll ask him. Interesting. Good day to you. What do you need? May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised. One of your hands told me you're holding a cumin captive. You've heard correctly. I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. How did you do it? It's not every day a miller's helper catches an enemy of the crown. That's true. My hands will be more than happy to tell you how they caught him. I'm in the service of Radzig Kobola, and that Cuban should be swinging from the Ratai gallows. Maybe, but I'm not taking him there. I don't have time. I'd rather throw him into the mill run. You're not throwing anyone anywhere. That Cuman is an enemy of the king, and he should be punished by the crown. Don't yell at me. Of course he should be punished, but like I said, I won't take him anywhere. If you want, I can hand him over to you for a share of the reward. Which, obviously, I'll take in advance. You know what? Let's do this a different way. I'll go and ride to Perchton. There, I'll tell Sir Radzig about a miller at the Bujinsky Mill who's hiding a Cuman raider, and then we'll see who ends up in the mill run. But that's not true. I'm not hiding anyone. It won't be up to you to judge what's true and what isn't. Fine. Go ahead and take that fucking Cuman. And go with him to hell for all I care. And just so you know how fair I am, I'll bring you half the reward back. Please, just go. My hands will unlock the barn for you. Take care now.
gibberish that is all done. Look at the rest. Now you're a hero. You just I'm here for the cube. Uh, what? The miller told me I can take him away. He's headed for the Ratai Gallows. Right. Don't just stand there, then. Open up. Oh. Very well. What do you want to do? You're a little bit like you. Itt tartotok, mint egy állatot, de egyik őtök sem mer velem kiállni. Köpök rátok, szukafatja. Get up. The executioner and Rata, I can't wait to meet you. Mi? Mi történik? Stop talking and get up. How about that? You do understand. And you don't want to go to Ratai? If I were you, I'd feel the same way. Please, I, I, money, underground. Money, you say? I'm listening. Again, again. Me, freedom, you, money. One moment, I'm not letting you go. I, freedom, you, money. If you really take me to the spot where you have the money hidden, I'll let you go. Money, you! Köszönöm, köszönöm! Isten fizesse meg a nagy lelkűségedet! Nem fogod megbánni! Ah, that's enough of your yapping. Let's go. No doubt we have a long journey ahead. And no tricks. Is that clear? Again. Világos, miért is ásta volna el a közelben az az idióta tihamér? Világos, miért is ásta volna el a közelben az az idióta tihamér? Köszönöm meg, ne félj, értem én. Picsába, hol az a szaros fa? A pénz egy farunkban van elrejtve. A pénz egy farunkban van elrejtve. A 
akkor kell vagy sem? Igen. Go. A good deed shouldn't go unrewarded. And I suppose you might call this a good deed. Yeah. Yeah. What you get for that? You piece of shit. Looking for a punch? Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Yeah.
fact that I'm talking to you. <laughs> Listen. Nobody will ever look at me again. <laughs> My leave me thing. What am I to do? 
Do you know there's a girl crying on your doorstep? I executed her husband. What? You killed him? No, no, not like that. It was done lawfully. She knew he had it coming. So then, why... Folk would like to drive her out of town. She has no one here. For a while, I thought I could take care of her, but it wasn't to be. Why? Do you really have to ask? I can't even go to the tavern for company, and no one would sup their ale with me. And when I die, they'll probably push me into a hole with a stick so as not to touch my corpse. Is it really that bad? I'm not complaining, mind. It's a well-paid job, if you don't mind being a pariah. They might look sideways at you, too, just for talking to me. And that's what she's afraid of? Exactly. Doesn't that crying girl have any kin? None she knows of, poor lass. You could help her, though, if you wanted. Me? How? Alishka has no family, but her husband might still have some kin. Nobody will talk to me, but you could find out more. Why do you want to find her family anyway? Don't you want her to stay here? I do. She's a splendid woman, but I'd never want to keep her here against her will. The life I lead isn't for everyone. What would she have to put up with if she stayed with you? A lot, I can't deny. Most of the town folk wouldn't give her the time of day, at least not in public. If we had children, it would be even worse for them. That doesn't sound like a very happy life. It's not all bad. It's a well-paid job and even respected in a way. And when someone needs a bone set, all of a sudden they forget your reputation. How can I find out if there's any family? Try asking Alishka herself. She knows a thing or two about them. But, in the end, you'll still have to go and find out something from the bailiff, or from the records at the Rat House. All right. I'll see what I can do. My thanks, if only for the thought. I need help with a wounded man from Sasau. And why should I help you? It's really important. Hmm? Go on. Do you know anything about broken bones? <sighs> no, Henry. If you want to rough someone up, then you can go elsewhere. I'm an executioner, not a thug. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sasau with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious, and he just keeps getting weaker. Hmm. And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. But it doesn't mean we can't help him, too. Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there, most likely both broken. One of them probably didn't set, or it set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the pain will be agonizing. He'll scream like a wounded beast and flail around all over the place. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh. And don't let the screaming put you off. Oof. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you will. Good luck, Hal. <laughs> Herman sent me. <laughs> what a way to end up. <laughs> Don't despair. It could be a lot worse. Only death could be worse, and I'm not far from it. <laughs> can I... Can I ask about your family? <laughs> what do you want to know? Don't you have any kin left? Someone who'd take you in? No. They all died of the plague. 
<laughs> and then I ended up with that man of mine. I always knew he'd get strung up one day. <laughs> Didn't your husband have any kin? Maybe. He mentioned some, but we never went to see them. Is that all you know? Yes. But if they're anything like my old man, the bailiff and his catchpoles will know about them. That's all I need. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? It's all sorted out, sir. You've no need to worry about the vicar anymore. Excellent. Some good news at last. I've heard some pretty wild rumors from Ujits. So what happened there, exactly? Maybe this will surprise you, sir, but there really were heretics in Ujits. Are you telling me the vicar didn't come to stick his nose in my possessions? I don't know about that. But he definitely suspected there were heretics hereabouts, and he was right. Christ! A man doesn't expect that sort of thing in his own fiefdom. Did you catch them? No, they ran away. The vicar's investigation wasn't exactly low-key. Anyway, they've definitely fled beyond your estate. Well, that's at least something. And the vicar? He's probably hot on their heels. Hmm, well, I hope he doesn't come back. Anyway, Henry, thanks for dealing with that vicar. You pulled a thorn from my side. 
Here's a little token of my gratitude. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Do you know Eliska, the wife of the man who was hanged recently? The one that's with the executioner now. That's her. Oh, life can be cruel sometimes. Um, right. And do you know she has kinfolk somewhere around? How should I know? Now, if you don't mind, I'm very busy. If Eliska stays with the Executioner, it'll end up being your problem anyway. Christ, oh, all right then. Tell the scribe. Where can I find him? He's suffering with some ailment, so no doubt he'll be lying in his chambers above his study, on the top floor of the Rat House. I'm glad to see you. Is it possible to find out from the records where someone lives? You think we keep records of every serf? For Christ's sake, they breed like rabbits. But but I thought that in the rat house, though, in, in, in the books... Boy, the books are for recording pacts, undertakings, punishments, property rights, and so forth. In other words, important things. We don't keep records of serfs. Eliska won't be happy about that. Eliska? You don't mean the one who married into the Mishek family? Yes. Yes, you know her. Why wouldn't I? I used to play dice with old Mishek years ago. He had a son. A nice, polite lad. How is he? Oh, uh, you know, he's, he's quite tied up these days. Well, if you see him, tell him to swing by. And where are the Mishaks living now? 
A stone's throw from Rate by the small fish pond. Thanks. God be with you. I have a document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. The village you drove those bandits out of? The very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Let me see that document then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzig and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. God be with you. Have a look at these cucumbers. They'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before someone else does. Damn! Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced, in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein, which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Skalitz friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way anytime soon. Good afternoon.
Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Good health to you. God be with you. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm, all right, so? What do you say to this? More. Finally, a reasonable sum. See you later.
eight just this morning. Pray. Good boy. <laughs> That's my boy. God, what happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. I've got something for you. I got them from Uncle Peshek. Just don't go poking them where you shouldn't. Uh, they're lockpicks. They're not really intended for poking in your own locks. True, but at least don't get caught. And if you do, you didn't get them from me. I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. I brought you something to wear. Thanks, Henry. Oh, it's a lovely dress. I'll definitely wear it. Hell! Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Henry, let's play a game. What game? A guessing game. I have something with me today, and you have to guess what it is. All right. You'll have to give me a clue, though. Fair enough. Here's a clue for you. It's something you'd find in a tavern. Is it beer? Oh, I made it too easy for you, didn't I? So it is beer. Let's be having it then. Wait, that's not all. Since you guessed right, as a reward, you can choose. Either I'll give you the beer, or I'll reveal one piece of family wisdom our grandfather used to tell us. Tough choice. All right, I'll take the wisdom. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Really, really ready? Don't leave me in suspense. Tell me. Right. Listen carefully. This is the wisdom of our family, passed down from generation to generation. When someone offers you free beer, take it. <laughs> well, that's it. Ugh, all right, you got me. I admit it. <laughs> Nice one. 
At least next time you will be wiser. <laughs> anyway, that's all the wisdom I have for you today. It's time me and my beer headed for home. Will you accompany us? Well, naturally I couldn't leave such a pretty pair to go alone. Here we are. Don't you want a Thanks for stopping on by, Henry. Day, My pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Go and mind your own business. What do you want? I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Elishka's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. She's your nearest kin. Elishka's part of your family and she really needs you. I won't help anyone. Listen, you old hag. If you interrupt me one more time... Fuck off! I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? She could help you with the farm. She definitely knows how to take care of things. A bit of help would come in handy. Send her here then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll have her work cut out. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Fine salvation this is. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. God be with you. See you later. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Ilishka's looking better. She is, but she's not happy. God sent the poor girl great trials. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? She was barely twelve. I... Losing your family isn't easy. Ah. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, did you find out anything about that kin of hers? I have. I tracked them down. They say they take her in, but I'm not sure she'd do well there. Leave that to her. I just hope she'll be better off than now. Good evening. You're not crying now? I'm not. I've wept enough for a lifetime. It's a bit of a change since my last visit. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. So, did you find out something about them? I did. I found your husband's father and mother, and uh, they're willing to take you in. But...
They're um, they're not very nice people, Eliska. They probably work you to the bone, but you would get fed. Life is never easy, but at least I'd have a family. You're right. I'll have another talk with Herman. Take care. <laughs> I've heard the way you talk about her, and, um... Would you like Eliska to stay? You know, Hal, she was always the sweetest girl. When she came with her family to retire, still single, she was a sight to behold. And it might surprise you, but she even had a word or two for me now and again. It grieved me when she married that wastrel. It was a foolish idea, but I always thought maybe she and I could... Well... Fate likes a good laugh. Now I've strung up her old man. I have her under my roof. After all the years I was thinking of her. I don't want her to leave, but... I don't want her to be unhappy here, either. your mind up I can't decide I don't know Mishikskin at all but at least I'd have a family Herman could give you a family too he's a decent upright fellow I've met none better and that's the honest truth but he's an executioner and what's the problem that the other women won't chat with you down at the creek did that sort of gossip ever interest you anyway? He's a fine man, isn't he? He's willing to take care of you and he has the means to do it. And he wants you. He's so sick with love for you, he can't even sleep. But did he really say that? He told me he's been in love with you for years. He said he always thought you were the sweetest girl in Ratai. That's true. We used to meet now and again and exchange a few words. I... Well, he always treated me nicely. By all that's holy. You're right. I'll stay here. Good luck, then. Herman? Yes? Could I... Can I stay here with you? You mean for good? If, if, if you don't want me to. I... You can. By God, you can. Ah. <laughs> You've made me the happiest man in the world. Thank you, Hal. Thank you. Think nothing of it. The main thing is, everything worked out well. It, it, it did. It, it did. Thank you. And I want you to have this. God Almighty. I've got Alishka. After all these years, me, <laughs> the executioner, has the woman he loves. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Henry. I have a feeling with Herman, I can finally find some happiness. You will. The two of you are made for each other. <laughs>